Good afternoon from Washington, D.C. I want to talk to you about today's psalm as we are reading, praying, and journaling our way through the psalms. The Psalm 9 starts off with a funny word. It says, Muth Laban, which we don't really know what that means, but we think it was the tune to which the psalm was to be sung. And we know it's a psalm of David. And if you know anything about David, you know that his life was full of problems. And so this psalm means even more because he starts off with, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. Now, it's a great trick to be able to tell yourself, to help yourself to remember the wondrous deeds of the Lord. So as we do that, that stirs up inside of us hope that God will do wondrous things for us in the future. And it gives us a firm foundation for which to place our faith. Because if we can remember from the past all that the Lord has done, then it gives us great hope and faith that God will do it again here in the present and then be faithful for us in the future. And so it says, you know, he goes on to say, I will delight and rejoice in you. I will sing hymns to you, to your name, most high. So what he is um, asking us to do is as an act of the will, no matter what your circumstances are, is to stir up inside of you. Remember the good deeds of the Lord. Get your eyes off of the problem, which may be your present circumstances, and speak the answer. Don't concentrate on the problem, but speak the answer. And the answer is God's goodness, his faithfulness, his justness, his, his ability to work things out that we ourselves may not have an answer to, but to be able to place them at his feet and know that he will act on our behalf. And so St. Ignatius of Loyola said that the root of all sin is basically not being thankful or being grateful for what we have. And so what David is saying is be grateful, stir up inside of you all the good things that the Lord has already done for you, knowing that he will be faithful in the present and in the future. So shall we offer ourselves to the Lord in this manner, saying, thank you, Lord, for what you've done, and then asking him to give us the grace to place that trust in him and that he will be faithful for us in the future. And what I've done today in my psalm uh, journal is I've written down things um, good things that God has done to help to stir inside of me and to be thankful so that I will be able to turn my eyes and my glance upward towards heaven and not just concentrate on this earthly circumstances. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, we give you our whole selves, even if we're in very circumspect circumstances, and ask that, Lord, that you would please help us to put our glance at you and put our trust and faith in you. Help to stir in us hope and faith um, from the good things you've done in the past that you will be faithful to us in the future. And we know, Lord, it's by your grace. So give us that grace, we pray, and allow us, Lord, to place our hope and trust in you and to sing out to you, to sing um, delight and rejoice in you, uh, placing all of our hope and faith in you. We ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I'll be praying for you. Place that hope in God and be encouraged.